Hey guys, this is not a laptop bag, this is a drone, the E88 Pro that everybody's buying, but instead of me going just cheap, I went the cheapest, because everybody else has this drone with two cameras. I managed to find one with only one camera, not two, only one. <laughs> now, let's put the drone on the side, let me just show you what comes in this box, and yes, I went that cheap that I did not even get the one with the uh, two extra batteries. Yeah, the foam is here, but it's empty. That's where the batteries would go. I didn't get that one either. This is the controller. Very interesting controller. In the bag, we get a screwdriver, I see so far. Let me just open it up here. So, we get the guards. Well, sometimes you can fly it indoors, but in my opinion, these are more to hang on a tree so if your drone hits a tree you're done say bye bye to that drone extra propellers which yeah they assumed i'm gonna break them that's very good of them to assume that a really huge screwdriver well this one i might use for something else probably and the micro usb charge that is it on the side of the town and we have the booklets right here let me put the bag on the side the booklets there is one of them that uh app something that says to user guide app something something we will see that in a moment and here's the user's manual there's uh one side is chinese and english and the other side is chinese and english very beautiful okay so now to the controller these two antennas, by the way are fake they have nothing really connected to them just you know being cute for aesthetics this is the power button right here this is the land button the liftoff button and these are the trimmers that you trim this is the acceleration and the axiometer left and right for the drone not to turn the body right but just to turn in place and this one is forward backwards le uh, right side and left side so far so good and we have a 360 supposed to do 360 flip or whatever i will test that here's the calibration button we'll test that too here's the emergency landing i'm not sure if you can see that somewhere right there and here is the uh speeds one two and three speeds basically that's almost it it takes three of these uh double a batteries which i'm gonna insert right now so we have it ready to take over the world batteries are in we heard the beep okay that beep is good i'm not gonna extend the antennas because that would be ridiculous and here's the drone itself yes the battery actually can mount it inside and you know it's a quality battery when you shake it and it does this because the battery inside is basically just held into nothing and we will insert it back where it was really quick so mine is the cheapest because it does not have the camera on the bottom it has only one they say it's a camera here two led lights here on the side on the back just the battery one more well led it's not a light it's one light inside that uh, reflects on a piece of plastic here and here so you'll see it blinking in a minute it says drone pro here on the side yeah right let me open these arms really quick okay it looks almost good they tried to do the lines like the dji mini <laughs> cute very cute now let me take this oh oh ho, ho, ho. boom and first time this drone has been released here in the wild this is the button well, let me press the power button here. What happens? Now, do not do what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna turn it on and back off right away. Okay. Oh my God. So yes, it flew off the table, but it didn't damage anything, nor did it break, which is very interesting because it actually hit the ceiling. And for some reason, very odd, this one just uh, started flying up above right away let me connect it again and try to do a calibration can you see the uh lights blinking let me calibrate again oh you're supposed to calibrate it in a very flat surface by the way not the way i did it but yeah this is pretty much the drone and as you see i just hit the gas a little bit let me put these on the side so you can see it spinning really quick boom i'm surprised this function actually works they copied this part good you know with the two levers up 
It actually works! It's not that bad, I would say. And the calibration is kind of working because otherwise it would be shifting around. And I've seen that on cheapo drones before. That actually when you do a uh, stand on, turn on or spin off, it will start going left and right. But this one is not doing that. I am very, very surprised with that. Let me try to leave it more than two seconds. I am actually very, very surprised with this one. The cheapest thing you can find on the internet. Okay, let's install the app now that we are supposed to, right? This is the app, and it says it's called Wi-Fi underscore cab. Not sure if you can see it there. That's not a generic app at all. I don't know what you're talking about here. <laughs> Wi-Fi underscore cab. What could go wrong with that? So it looks like I have some kind of Wi-Fi cam already. This is very interesting. I'm going to enable it, open it. So, oh, so they have the same exact app as this camera here. Look at that. Actually, that's the same app I used for this camera somehow. This is very interesting. I'm not implying anything that they're made from the same company, but it's not impossible. So now what do I need to connect here? I need to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi, I guess. Let's turn the Wi-Fi on. Wi-Fi 8K, it says here. Whoa, that is, that's a lot of Wi-Fi. Okay, let's get back to the app now. Start the app. Okay, so here's the app itself. Okay. Okay, so we are connected. Ooh, the uh, quality is gonna blow your mind. You will not believe your eyes, the quality this one has. <laughs> Let me start recording it so you guys will see it, because otherwise you don't believe me. Here's a piece of paper, and that's a, that's a really high quality stuff. Can you even read that? Well, it is... Here, I, I'm gonna use it to film, actually. Look, I'm gonna use it to film over my table. But this is with almost perfect studio lights, though. This is not exactly exactly on the wild and as you see right here this is very interesting so what controls do we have in the app let me put the camera just a little bit sideways so we know it's on put it here towards the storage stuff i have and yes i'm still recording from the drone and here we have to lock it reverse it this one auto photo no we don't need that virtual <laughs> When you do virtual, look at that. It just splits the screen in two. What could go wrong with that? It's just beautiful footage. What's wrong with you? You don't understand drones? <laughs> Okay, let me get rid of the virtual. What is this? Device does not support dual camera because we know we don't have a second camera. These are effects. Oh, so the effect here is to zoom in. So this is a background music. Looks like it almost works. And that is all the functions we have here. Look at that. So the quality, I would say, if you're looking for a beginner drone to just learn on it and all that, cool stuff i would say it's okay if you pay maybe i don't know 15 20 bucks but not 30 and 40 absolutely not this is definitely not the worst as i said if you find it for 15 to 20 bucks it's worth it to train or if you have a young kid that wants to play with drones and learn drones or even yourself I, there's nothing wrong with that next thing to do would be to go fly it outside really maybe a minute or two and we'll see how it does don't expect any high quality footage and the drone shots and all that that you're used to seeing from other youtubers with dji mavic pro and all that so with that said let's take a look at it okay guys here's the drone flying and uh try my best to kind of film it and here i'm gonna try to trim it but it kind of has a mind of its own as you see i'm struggling to make it stay on one straight line but it tends to go left for some reason and i'm trying to trim and at the same time not to over trim because then it will go right but it just has a problem with the balance for some reason it just does not want to stay in place well i didn't expect much more than that anyway but overall for a training drone i don't think it's the worst but if you are looking for anything too serious 
it's not gonna happen. But training flights and learn how to fly a drone, this will do the job just fine to kind of learn the equilibrium and all that good stuff. And besides that, you just have to care what you paid for. Don't forget, $15 are not gonna get you much more than this. And uh, now let me show you some actual footage taken by this drone that will blow you away from the high, high quality. <laughs> And yes, this is part of the footage. And actually, yes, it was choppy like that. I did not touch this video. The kind of washed out colors, overexposure and over zoom are all from this drone. This footage you're seeing right now has not been touched or edited at all. But unfortunately, this footage is very unusable. And this is why I said for anything serious, this is not the drone you want to touch, but for learning how to fly a drone, I guess, this would do the job to some point. And as you see, everything is green, or supposed to be green, but according to the drone, is not. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye!